Hi guys, welcome back to Tether for Gaming. I'm Ed and we're carrying on with Ice Cap Zone on Sonic 3 and Knuckles today. Um, back on the Sega Mega Drive, this intro, I say an intro, intro to the level, absolutely blew my mind, which is ridiculous, just because it's on a snowboard. Um, I had a very sad childhood, as I'm sure you can imagine. <laughs> uh, but I didn't really play many games where it had a lot of like fast-paced action or anything. Um, so for me, this was like as good as it got, ridiculously. And there's Tails, who wasn't taking part just then in the snowboarding farm. Um, yeah, I only ever played a couple of games on the Sega, like uh, Flicky and Streets of Rage and a couple of things like that, uh, which obviously aren't as ridiculously fun as, or fast as Sonic is. So there is actually a ring here, which again is really useful if you don't have Super Sonic yet. Uh, is this the one where? No. There's one part of the level where you just carry on falling unless you do something, which is this bit. So I'm sure you guys all know. You just need to do a little jumpy jump there and smash through that bit, get an extra life, and it bobs your uncle. If you land on that one that's sitting on the floor, actually rise up. So try not to get squashed. Actually, <laughs> felt myself tense up then ridiculously, even though I knew exactly what was coming. Um, electric shield, massively useful for this level. I think a fire shield would work as well, but I can't say if I've ever really tried for a fire shield on purpose. Um, the electric shield allows you to just obviously get the rings, which is pretty useful, but also to kill any sort of icy bits in around the area. Um, I actually think it's my favourite of the three shields. Uh, and then this bit, yeah, you just lay it down. Doing a lot more trying to commentate on the game today, which is weird and unlike me. Um, spent a bit of time today actually playing Final Fantasy IX on iOS. Uh, about halfway through it, or my latest sort of playing that I was doing on it is about halfway through. The temptation is there just to, with those games, to like turn on all your boosters and get max levels and all that fun. Um, it is very tempting. I can't remember if there's a secret here, so I'll just have a look. No, there's not. Um, Final Fantasy IX, obviously, for those that know, uh, was a little slow in terms of like battle speed and stuff initially, so the iOS version is actually really good for um, well, playing through at speed, you can do like, double speed and stuff like that, it's also a bit HD upscaled. I do want to do a Final Fantasy game on this channel at some point, uh, I mentioned before my favourites are 10 and 7. Uh, I'm not currently getting my PlayStation 4 to work that well with my laptop, which may change with the incoming improvement internet I'll be having. Um, so if that happens, obviously I'll be able to play Sonic Mania as well, which is awesome. Um, but I might end up at some point doing the Final Fantasy X remaster. Otherwise I might just do 7 on the PC, which I downloaded like as soon as it came out on the PC when Square Enix did it a few years ago. Um, I don't know if that means I can or can't mod it, I assume modding it is the same outside of Steam that it is inside of Steam if it's a PC game. Um, I'll have a look at it anyway. Didn't go fast enough there. I feel like this level is meant to go extremely quickly but I've already spent three minutes on it. Um, so yeah, I'd like to do some seven mods I think. Uh, probably only sort of HD it or something, I say HD. They sort of upscale a couple of the, um, the character Build things? Character builds. That's not gonna. Oh, just about. Right, you get the point of this. So he darts around. Let's try not to lose our lives today. I think he drops them down. I think he does. I'm scared. I, I panic. I'm sorry. It's actually not that difficult to avoid, is it? <laughs> um, so yeah, I might do that with Final Fantasy 7. Really enjoyed, so speaking of Final Fantasy 10, I know this is a Sonic thing, but what I was gonna say about Sonic, he's fast and blue and cool. Sort of cool. Mondo call, I guess that's what the kids would have said back in the day. Um, I really did enjoy the 10 remaster, HD remaster a few years ago. I actually bought PlayStation 3 for the sole purpose of playing that game. Because uh, I think I threw out my PlayStation 2 and just needed a way to play it again. Um, so that's a game close to my heart and we'll, we'll see. I'd like to play it again. I normally play it every two or three years. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so this level, obviously, Ice Cap Zone Act 2. I think why I like these levels, of the Ice Cap levels, is like the 
the whole music and look about them. I uh, can't remember if you'd seen a snow one in Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic 2, I don't think so. I think it's entirely new for Sonic at this stage. I think it's pretty cool, I think they do it really well actually. Um, I also like how the levels in Sonic 3 sort of flow into each other a lot more. There's a lot more like running between levels and falling between levels, stuff like that. Um, so it shows a nice little transition. Is that the one where there's a... No, I'm not far enough the mass amount of rings and special stages. Oh gosh, Tails is trying to ruin my thunder. Oh, go up. There's a couple of penguins there, and there's a penguin there as well. For some reason I thought there were rings down here. Like a ring box, but clearly mistaken, because they've not changed anything on an emulated game, obviously. There may be a Robotnik. Oh, it's here. Oh. I lost my shield for nothing. Up here, though, if you can get it. And sometimes it glitches out if you're going too fast around these things. So there's a nut. If you sort of move to the right when you're going up that little ramp, you get to this bit. Which, obviously, if I still had the electric shield, would be an absolute gold mine. But as it stands, it's not. But I'll still get another life here. And then the drop down to the end is pretty easy. The boss. I don't. Uh, I mean, I'm sure. I, let's try it without going super sonic. I'm sure I'll manage. I failed enough times in this game already, so I'm sure another fail won't hurt. I think he alternates. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was me. Oh, this is terrible. So he sort of alternates where the icy stuff comes out from. So it lands on you playing two player. You actually can. I think you can fire it here. Yeah, you can jump on them and save their life. Which would have been really useful if it happened to me, but alas, I didn't. So let's just take him out. Uh, and then we'll head to the final act in Sonic 3. Like the Sonic 3 portion of the game anyway, and the Sonic 3 game in general. Which was launch, well, was, and it is launch base zone. Um, so fans of Sonic 2 obviously will know where that would lead to, provided Sonic doesn't get in the way. Um, is he running himself? No, he's not. In which case, uh, I will cut to launch base, uh, which will probably be another video. So, super quick one this time. Uh, leave a comment with feedback, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. That was easy.